I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here and today I'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader for the Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e. Now this will only work for the Exynos version of the Samsung Galaxy S10 series so you want to make sure that you have this version and not the Snapdragon version in order for this particular method to work. So previously on Exynos devices, Samsung has made it very, very easily to unlock the bootloader. And for those devices, those older devices, all you have to do is go into developer mode and flip a toggle. It literally was that easy. You just had to switch on a toggle and that was it. This is in comparison to devices from, say, Google, where you have to boot into fast boot mode and execute a couple of command prompt commands in order to unlock the bootloader. Since, the, since Samsung doesn't have fast boot mode, they have done things differently as usual. But it's interesting that they changed it up yet again for the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. In any case, we're going to go through the same beginning process. So you're going to need to enable developer mode. And if you're not familiar with how to do that, look in the video description. You'll find a link to the full tutorial on my website. And I walk you through that step by step process right there. Once we have developer mode enabled, we're going to go into developer options. And we're going to make sure the OEM unlocking toggle is enabled. So this part, all the way up until this part, is the same. Again, on previous devices, all you had to do is tap that toggle and the bootloader was unlocked. However, with the Galaxy S10, that changes. So once you enable OEM unlocking, we then have to power off the device. And we are going to boot the Samsung Galaxy S10 into download mode which again if you're not familiar familiar with how to do this look on the full tutorial on my website I'm just going to be pressing a couple of buttons and holding a couple of buttons while I insert a USB cable so this is the traditional method of booting into download mode however you're gonna see a third option here assuming you have the OEM unlock toggle enabled that tells you to long press the volume up button to unlock the device and go into unlock mode which is just the process of unlocking the bootloader so we are going to long press on the volume up button and that's going to change the screen and it's going to ask are you sure you want to unlock the bootloader Please note that doing this is going to wipe the data on your device. So we're just going to press the volume up button to confirm, yes, we want to unlock the bootloader. And then our Galaxy S10 is going to reboot. We're going to get this warning screen. Whenever we try to boot back up, it's just telling you that the bootloader is unlocked. And see, once you see this screen, it's going to boot into a blue screen, which will then perform the factory data reset. And then it's going to boot up like normal. Now, you would think that the process is now done. However, there is a new feature that Samsung has introduced called Vault Keeper. So since we have just performed a factory data reset, this first boot cycle is going to take a bit longer than normal. Just be patient.
And this is going to take us back to the Android activation screen. Now for the bootloader to be to be completely unlocked, we need to get through the activation screen and you will need to connect your device to the internet. Once the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, or the Galaxy S10e is booted back up into Android, and then it is connected to the internet, then a check is made to make sure that everything has fallen into place correctly and then and only then will the bootloader be unlocked So I'm just going to go through the activation process real quick. And I will be right back. Now I have gone through Android's activation screen. I have connected my account back to the device. And as you can see at the top, it's currently doing the restore. Once you boot back up into Android, you can just double check things by enabling developer mode again and then when we go into settings and go into developer options you can see that OEM unlocking option is enabled now or is grayed out now even though it is enabled once you see that that means as you can see there the bootloader is already unlocked so we have a little extra steps that we have to do in order to unlock the bootloader of the Samsung Galaxy S10, S10 Plus, and S10e compared to older Samsung devices, but still a rather straightforward process and very easy to do as long as you know what you need to do. So that's how to unlock the bootloader on the new Samsung Galaxy S10 series.